Now in our next story, digital technology in education enables learners and educators to find new answers, not only to what people learn, but also to how they learn, where and when they learn. On top of that, digital and technology can help boost the role of teachers. Now our correspondent, Samadha Rusare, explores this in the following report. The COVID-19 pandemic disrupted education in over 150 countries and affected 1.6 billion students. In response, many countries implemented some form of remote learning. The education response during the early phase of COVID-19 focused on implementing remote learning modalities as an emergency response. These were intended to reach all students, but were not always successful. Now, as the pandemic has evolved, so too have education responses. Schools are now partially or fully open in many jurisdictions. Now, for Gwindingwe Primary School in Mashingo, Bikita District, technology was the only way to go. The school was amongst the first to adopt the use of the learning passport. Now, the learning passport was created by the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education and their partners, UNICEF, and has benefited learners whose families are not financially stable. It also allows for students to learn on the move, providing online and offline features. Pupils at Gwindingui Secondary School are ecstatic over the latest initiative. We adjoined the learning passport some past few months ago and I found out, I discovered that it was good and it benefited all of us just because we were able to read, to say some things, homeworks, even experiments. I started accessing the digital learning passport a few months ago. Uh, I hear people say saying that it is very helpful while we are losing most of our time during COVID-19. I started getting access to it. This application is so good because all of my, I can find all, all of my topics, all of my business, all of my subjects in one place. And due to the new curriculum, because it aims directly at the new curriculum, unlike any other subject, any other application, we have to download separately or use YouTube. Now I can niche the market and all the content that was studied as much of the application. Bikita District Schools Inspector James Mahofa speaks on the training teachers received from the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education. We also had uh, training under the Learning Passport uh, platform. We had a training at one high school in the district. And uh, this was done in Tape 1, 2022, I think, with our Ministry of and, uh, but unfortunately, we, we we didn't manage to cascade the, the, the training in a big way to other schools, but we just announced or communicated that there's a learning passport with a, an email address or a, a, a platform address. Now, the facility has its own challenges when it comes to connectivity, but authorities are already attending to it. The GIGA initiative will ensure that all schools, including all rural schools, will have access to internet connectivity by 2030. Director of Communication in the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, Taunga Nandoro, speaks on the GIGA project. The e-learning day is, is fantastic and we're working together with the Ministry of uh, ICT and Postal Courier Services to ensure that we have got uh, uh, Wi-Fi and internet at all our schools. Uh, this is also tied up with uh, what uh, UNICEF is also a partnering government to in a program called GIGA, whereby the year 2030 we want to ensure that all our schools are connected to uh, Wi-Fi and they have an uh, internet platform. The learning passport is a continuous journey that will ensure all learners in Zimbabwe will attain quality education, regardless of their location, and it is surely bridging gaps in digital learning. Reporting for ZTN, I am Samantha Rosare.